Dutch India consisted of the settlements and trading posts of the Dutch East India Company on the Indian subcontinent. It is only used as a geographical definition, as there has never been a political authority ruling all Dutch India. Instead, Dutch India was divided into the Governorates Dutch Ceylon and Dutch Karamandal, the Commandment Dutch Malabar, and the Directorates Dutch Bengal and Dutch Sarate. The Dutch Indies, on the other hand, were the Dutch East Indies present-day Indonesia and the Dutch West Indies present-day Suriname and the former Netherlands Antilles. History Dutch presence on the Indian subcontinent lasted from 1605 to 1825. Merchants of the Dutch East India Company first established themselves in Dutch Karamandal, notably Pulikat, as they were looking for textiles to exchange with the spices they traded in the East Indies. Dutch Sarate and Dutch Bengal were established in 1616 and 1627 respectively. After the Dutch conquered Ceylon from the Portuguese in 1656, they took the Portuguese forts on the Malabar coast five years later as well, to secure Ceylon from Portuguese invasion. Apart from textiles, the items traded in Dutch India include precious stones, indigo, and silk across the Indian peninsula, saltpetre and opium in Dutch Bengal, and pepper in Dutch Malabar. Indian slaves were imported on the Spice Islands and in the Cape Colony. In the second half of the 18th century the Dutch lost their influence more and more. The Q letters relinquished all Dutch colonies to the British, to prevent them from being overrun by the French. In the famous Battle of Kalachal Travancore King Marthanda Varma's army defeated the Dutch East India Company, resulting in the complete eclipse of Dutch power in Malabar. Although Dutch Karamandal and Dutch Bengal were restored to Dutch rule by virtue of the Anglo-Dutch Treaty of 1814, they returned to British rule owing to the provisions of the Anglo-Dutch Treaty of 1824. Under the terms of the treaty, all transfers of property and establishments were to take place on 1 March 1825. By the middle of 1825, therefore, the Dutch had lost their last trading posts in India. Coinage During the days when the Dutch were commercially active in India, they operated several mints, at Cochin, Misulapadam, Nagapadam or Negapadam, Pondicherry for the five years 1693–98 when the Dutch had gained control from the French, and Pulikat. The coins were all modelled on the local coinages. Map. Topic Gallery Topic See also British India Danish India French India India Netherlands relations Portuguese India